I have a confession to make. Despite what I have been telling myself for the past two years, I am finally admitting it to myself. My favorite game of all time is Sekiro. <laughs> I can't explain why I struggle to. It's brutally difficult. It's linear. There's no character customization. There's no open world. There's no hope of a sequel in sight. Until now? Okay, I'm kidding. Sort of. What you're looking at right now is a small 100% free game by a very small developer called, and I'm gonna butcher this, Kanagi Usagi. I love this game. <laughs> because the real reason Sekiro is the greatest game ever for me is because of the combat. And the small but mighty Kanagi Usagi copies literally everything, almost copies literally almost every single thing to a T about Sekiro's combat and pits you against hot anime female bosses over and over and over until you beat them all. There are no levels, there is no story, none of that. You just fight bosses and then you're done. It's short, it's great. Here's the deal. You're this anime girl with a bunny thing in her hair. You go to one of these stones, battle a boss, battle the next one. That's it. But what's inside these battles is truly fun. The entire basic Sekiro moveset is here. Jump, dodge, swing, parry, block, and the posture system, all here. Makiri counter is even here as well to make devastating parries when you see that familiar red symbol, hear the sound, and your opponent's winding up in a straight on motion. And when you see the same red symbol and that sound and the opponent is winding up in a side slash setup, you can, just as in Sekiro, jump dodging the swing and jump on your opponent's head like some little lily pad to deal some more posture damage. There are no weapon arts, there's no special moves or anything like that, there's no items. We're just sticking to the basics. In general, I found this game a little bit easier than Sekiro, but it's still not like easy. I mean, this is Sekiro combat. And if I hadn't played and beat Sekiro in the past, it would probably have been much harder. But this combat, truly exactly like Sekiro. Like, it is more than a love letter. It is a copy of that combat. That's just fine. That's just fine with me. I found myself slipping right back into that combat system, like riding a bike. Just like in Sekiro, you gotta be aggressive and hold your ground so you continue to chip away at your opponent's posture system. It's important. And just as in Sekiro, dodging is a quick route to death. Luckily, you still get a limited amount of what are essentially, you know, Estus flasks that you can guzzle down to restore some health during the battle. Both you and your opponent get two lives, basically, so you need to break their posture bar twice and finish them twice to win. The first time your health bar drops to zero, you die, and then, just like in Sekiro, you resurrect. Shadows die twice, after all. Each boss has its own unique move set to learn, too, so you can parry in rhythm accordingly. And some are more aggressive and some are more passive, so each boss battle does feel different. Just like Sekiro, though, it's all about the parries. It's just hit, hit, parry, 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 hit, hit, parry, parry, right? You get that rhythm of Sekiro again. It, it was just fun to go back there. And there are some very subtle differences, by the way, with these bosses between phase one of the fight and phase two. Though in general, phase two is not that much more difficult, if at all, just like a little nuanced. So how does it feel? It feels pretty good. I mean, especially a game made by a small developer. I mean, honestly, it may only be one person. I, I couldn't confirm that for sure, uh, but it sounds like it might be. There's definitely a bit of jank here, okay? And the timing is maybe like just a smidge, just a smidge, 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 off perfect, but it doesn't really hurt anything. So the sword plate maybe doesn't feel quite as good as Sekiro, but all the parries, blocks and everything, the timing stuff all still works perfectly. But I mean, listen, it doesn't feel as good as Sekiro. Okay, but I mean, Sekiro was a multi-million dollar game made by From Software. This is an incredible, faithful recreation of this combat system. There's honestly not much I would change about this. It's super fun to blow through these bosses and retaste that awesome Sekiro gameplay. And I am not alone here, my friends. The game is overwhelmingly positive on Steam with over 3,500 reviews. It's hard to believe it's free. So why is it free? <laughs> Japanese developer 
again, sorry, Tanoji, has been active on Twitter during the development process, actually. And according to the translation I read, because it was all in Japanese, so I wasn't sure, but according to the translation I read, he made it free because it's so close to the original source material, i.e. Sekiro. Uh, indeed, even when he first started talking about making the game in the first place, a few years back on Twitter, he said, according to the translation, I miss the battles of Sekiro, so I'm making something similar to it. Now, if you can't find this in your own Steam store, it's because for some reason the game is rated adult only, marked as containing frequent nudity or sexual content. I don't know what that's all about. I mean, these anime women are scantily clad, sure, but there's no nudity and there's no sexual content, so I'm not really sure what that's all about. So you may need to go into your Steam settings and turn on the steamy setting. Oh God. Moving on. I would 100% give this game a shot. It's free and I had a blast with it. And I love supporting small, passionate developers like this. I'll leave a link to the Steam page in the description. Have you tried this yet? Have you stumbled across it? I would love to hear about this. Or did this video make you wanna consider trying it? Let's talk about it in the comments. And hey, yeah, as of this video, I'm still a really small, just teeny tiny ant size, just like a pebble, like thrown in a, in a, in a, in a, in a in a stream, in a lake, an ocean, a pebble in the ocean, that's the metaphor, uh, of a YouTube channel, so a like and subscribe. Hey, you know, it, it makes a difference. What can I say? <laughs> All right, have a good day. And hey, don't forget to have fun.